We are going to download and install one more program. It will be Composer. We need Composer to create our web pages. Composer will be downloaded as a zipped file. That means it is compressed file. And for that you will need a program that can unzip files or extract them. And for that I suggest you go to CNET and browse here. You can find free programs such as 7-zip or WinRAR. WinRAR is not free but it is excellent program. Let's go back to Composer and let's select here Download Composer for Windows and double click and our dialog window is open and I'm going to save Composer on desktop and I suggest that you do exactly the same. So select desktop and select here save. As you can see this is zipped folder. If you want to unzip this folder with WinRAR this is how you will do that. Double click on this folder. You will select Composers folder. Just click on Composers folder and when it turns blue it means that it is selected. You will select up here Extract Files and you will select Desktop and select OK. And I will select here Yes to All. Now that we extracted our folder to our desktop, this is what you have to do next. You will double click on this extracted folder. And don't be intimidated with all these files and folders. We need only one file here. When you find Composer's icon among all these files and folders, you will right click and we are going to create a desktop shortcut and we are going to select here desktop create shortcut. And I can close this now and this is our composer icon that we need in order to create our web pages. However, if you download 7-zip this is how your folder would look and you're going to right click and open with 7-zip file manager and you're going to select composer and exactly the same procedure select extract select your desktop or change destination I suggest that you leave it as desktop and select OK and it will extract your composer file this will be all for part 4 and I hope you enjoyed learning all of this and I will see you in module 2. Have a great day!